Hi everyone, welcome back to Project Reactor Essentials. So in the previous video, I think it's not clear this uh, subscription cancel. So I'm going to cover this uh, guy again. Let me just remove this one to avoid uh, confusion because this is going to expect the result of the publisher. And here we are working with the subscriber. So we are canceling here and uh, this one that has is passing. So you can see two different things. So let's just execute this guy again. So we can see here that we are subscribing and we are telling to cancel this subscription. So this is what it's uh, happening here. So when we tell subscription.cancel, it's going to clean the, the resources, like I said in the previous video. If you want, this doesn't make a lot of sense with uh, mono, but for example, you could have a subscription where you request uh, a number of elements. So we have this request and let's say, for example, you can see the that when we don't have this one, for example, if we execute this method right here, you can see that the request is unbounded. It means that it's uh, limitless. And now here, uh, I'm going to request only five. So when I do this, now I have the same behavior, but we are requesting five. And then we have all the the other methods being executed and if I leave this guy you will see that the result is the same okay so now that we know a little bit more about a subscription let's talk about how to add behavior through the do something method so I will just copy this one and I will add here and this will be a uh, mono do on methods. Okay, let's see how it works. So the publisher has several do something. So if we keep going on here, we have one that's do on subscribe. And if you go, you see that it will add behavior when you have like a subscription, it's triggered when uh, it's done being subscribed. Then we have a uh, do on request that if you also go inside, you will see this one is uh, going to add behavior triggering this long consumer when it receives any request. So let's just start giving some something for us to see working. We can uh, call this one, it's a subscription and we can just add log.info subscribed i don't think uh, let's see if we have something here yeah that's not the case let's just tell that we subscribed and then uh do on request is the same thing we have a long number as a parameter here log.info request Received starting doing something. I don't know what we're going to do. And then we have the do on next. So basically the do on next is going to execute, is going to be triggered every time something is being emitted from this publisher. So Add behavior trigger when emits a data successfully. And let's just print this one. Uh, again, this will be the value that we have here, the name. So we can print the string log.info value is here. Executing do all next. And I can give the value. And we have the do on success. And we also have do on error. But let's stop at the do on success. So do on success, the difference between this do on success and do on next is that the do on next, if you don't have anything to be emitted, it will not be executed. 
but the successful will be executed when it completes successfully well it's a bit confusing let's just see how this works in action let's add the log.info do on success executed okay so let's execute this one i will remove this test just to do some cleanup in the logs and execute the wrong one okay so as you can see we have here in the beginning on subscribe and then we have this uh do one success telling hey this was uh subscribed someone subscribed to us and then we have this do on request so the request was received doing something and you can see here the request was unbounded the on next is going to to print to william and then we have here the do on next the value is here executing do on next and the value william and do on success executed and then we have the results being uh, printed here value william it's from here and then finished so the do on something will trigger the will add the behavior based on the event but the difference is how to do on next it uh, behaves i will duplicate this line and i will execute this test again and you will see that we have two values but for example if i add or if i remove this guy so let me duplicate the line again and the one in the middle i will tell hey just uh, flat map this guy and by flat mapping and i'm using flat map because the otherwise it will return mono of mono and i will just remove the mono i'll just tell hey just return at this point in time a mono empty that's why i'm changing here to object otherwise it will just give an error so as you can see if i use map the error will be hey you need to have a mono of mono object that's why i'm using a flat map here so now what's going to happen the do on next here it will have some value but then here i'm just removing all the values that we have basically i'm just printing nothing i'm just telling that this mono is empty it means that this uh, do on next doesn't have anything to execute so this will not be executed and if i try to print the the value here you will see that is uh no so this don't suc do on success will be executed but this do on next will not because the condition is not being met there is nothing to emit based on the contract there is no data to send so let's execute this guy so you can see value is here so this one is being completely ignored and then do on success executed and again we don't have any data because we are basically killing the the model right here okay so these are the do on methods and i uh, hope you enjoy see you in the next video bye